Hey, it's Chris Lau, just doing another quick warm-up abstract landscape painting today. Uh, getting going so I can work on some other projects. Uh, right now I'm, I'm just adding some some Payne's Gray, some black. I'm using some green gold acrylic paints, some yellow ochre, and a little bit of titanium white and ultramarine blue. I'm also getting in there with some black uh, Caran d'Ache uh, watercolor, um, water soluble, excuse me, crayons, and uh, just kind of making some marks and some outlines. And this is not based on an image, but based on uh, a hill around um, where I take walks now and then. So I'm just kind of doing this from memory, and again, it's just abstract, so um, just a very loose painting. It uh, snowed here the other day, so I've got uh, a lot of light coming in through the window, so the colors are, are muted just a little bit. Uh, at the end of the painting, you'll be able to see the, the uh, full uh, warm-up painting and, and the colors in that will stand out a little bit more than they are now. So. But uh, this, this hill had a, has a trail that goes up the hill. And so I'm just kind of establishing some of that and, and some of the highlights on the trees that are at the top of the hill. And um, again, using some, some water-soluble crayons in there to make some marks. And at some points, I take the scraper and scrape away some of the, the paint, as you can see there. It's, it's looking pretty muddy, and that happens sometimes with these 15 minute paintings, you're painting wet on wet and uh, have to work in another area to let that, that side dry. Um, but uh, just establishing some darks again and some, some sky holes where the, the tree trunks are and just really playing right now. This is really just an exercise to get me warmed up to work on some other projects. So I'm not really thinking too much, just just putting some paint down. And near the end of this, I'll start working towards cleaning it up and, and trying to make something of it. Uh, but right now, just getting some base paints down and uh, working some, some of the ultramarine blue in. Again, just making marks and, and having fun. If you haven't done this kind of exercise before where you just, really, it's kind of almost scribbling. You're just getting paint down and, and making marks and Stepping back and just taking a quick peek to see if, if uh, you need to make some adjustments and what you can do to try and have this painting turn out uh, to something. And again, you know, 15 minutes, you're not going to get a masterpiece in here uh, clearly. But uh, and right now, looking at this, it's, it's looking pretty muddy. Um, but uh, uh, you'll see by the end what. What the overall painting looks like and, and some of the colors in there um, it's not a you know real colorful painting it's it's pretty cool overall um, I'm using mainly cool colors uh, the yellow ochre is probably the warmest thing I have on there and that gets kind of blended in as well but use my fingers to, to uh, scratch some lines in also use my fingers to to uh, kind of mix those colors and blend those colors but uh, typically do abstracts um, non-objective abstracts this is one of the first ones I've done where I've had kind of something in mind um, specifically uh, that I was playing with but uh, you're just adding some light colors in there trying to uh, uh, kind of establish the trail a little bit more. And again, in 15 minutes, you're, you're kind of rushing. So you'll see I'll uh, play with the trees a little bit more here, and then I'll pull the tape off. And you can take a look. Um, I'll have the uh, final paintings. And here you can see the uh, painting with a lot more color. Uh, less saturated light. So anyway, I highly recommend trying some 15-minute warm-up paintings.